Michelle Abraham has everything you need to know, from local eats and celebrity interviews to trending topics and more, right now on Good Day Stateline. Hi, and welcome to Good Day Stateline. It's Tuesday, November 21st. We have a super special Insta Chat for you tonight with Rockford's very own Academy Award nominated filmmaker, Bing Liu. Hey, Bing, how are you? Hey, how's it going, Michelle? Good. It's so good to talk to you. You're headed back to Rockford next weekend for 815 Shorts, which will include the premiere of your newest short film, What the Hands Do. Uh, tell us about this film. Yeah, so What the Hands Do is a film I made with Patagonia Films with their film division. Uh, it's about these two rock climbers who fell in love in Mexico and then moved to Los Angeles, and they do all sorts of social justice work in LA. And uh, they love bringing their values that they do in the work outside of climbing into climbing. So um, it's an amazing film about community and collective action and what we can do uh, when we all come together for a common goal. I was reading a little bit about, um, about this film and how you thought it was going to be a really short shoot, but it ended up being much longer, right? Yeah, it was, uh, it was supposed to be like a 10 minute short where we shot over the course of five days. Uh, and then, um, you know, as often happens mm -hmm. when you make documentaries, uh, a lot of a lot of unexpected things happened. You know, one of our main characters broke his foot. Uh, there were torrential rains in the West Coast, and it flooded a lot of the climbing locations that we wanted to go to. And um, in the end, we ended up shooting over the course of six months. It was wow. still five days <laughs> we had budgeted, <laughs> um, but it ended up being just a longer. Um, uh, a time of shooting, but it was a blessing and a curse because there was a lot more story that happened um, over the course of six months and we ended up with something really special. Do you feel like these short films, these documentaries are like at your heart or are you interested someday in working on a film that maybe you do have to stick to the schedule? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I, it's it's funny. I, I got my start in, in, as a camera assistant um, in in the fiction world and on TV and movies. Um, and I'm I will I'm, I am eventually going to go back into that world as a director and writer. Um, but it's it's uh, you know they take a long time to develop. Yeah. Um, but I, I will be having something uh, happening in the next few years. Cool. Oh, why did you choose to premiere your film with Eight One Five Shorts this year? I mean, I just love any time anybody does something for the community in Rockford. And I love that there's something just based around film being done. Uh, I, I look forward to meeting all the filmmakers and everybody involved in film um, in Rockford. I think it's been a while since I've been in touch with um, what's going on in the community. And it's always so exciting to come back and just see how much change uh, is being done in the community. So what projects can we look forward to? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I have a lot of projects on the slate uh, in development and at various stages, both scripted and, and documentary. Um, but the one thing I'm like actually weirdly excited about the most is this museum project that I've been working on in San Francisco with this organization called Futures Without Violence. Um, it's a museum called the Courage Museum that's going to open up in a couple years. Okay. And it's all about um, getting inspired by people who have experienced violence themselves and now are finding unique ways of trying to end those cycles of violence. So. That sounds pretty cool. We'll have to keep up with you so we make sure we learn more about that when it comes to fruition. Thank you so much, Bing, for spending some time with us today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Michelle. For sure. the Bing's film will be the final film um, as part of 815 Shorts, but it's actually like a full day of filmmakers and lunch and learns and so much. You can get tickets at 815shorts.com. We'll be right back with our friends from Rock Valley Credit Union. They're talking to us about 5K for the holidays after a good day moment.